Hi, Chad here with Purple Car Life and today we're here with the Ford Workmaster 641 but today's video is about lead substitute, lead additives in your fuel. Now if you're not familiar, these old antique tractors or classic cars were designed to have leaded fuel run through them, not unleaded. And I'm not a metallurgist or a physicist and I can't explain to you exactly what the lead does inside the engine. I do know that it acts somewhat as a lubricant and somewhat as a valve seat anti-wear uh, formula to keep those valve seats from wearing over time. Now something like this motor medic lead substitute can be used in these old antique tractors or classic cars that were designed to use leaded fuel but as you can see this is quite a big bottle and I'm only going to put five gallons of gas in my tractor at a time so I don't want to pour 20 to 25 gallons worth of lead substitute in that tank. Let me explain to you how I'm going to make this work for a five gallon add-in to my tractor. Now I wish that this stuff were like stable and had like a measuring system on the side of the bottle. I'm not exactly sure the effectiveness of stable. I've read reviews both ways. I do still mix it in with my tractor gas for the times that I think the tractor is going to be sitting a little bit longer than normal. But I try to come out and start the tractor up at least once a week, if not more times than that, just to keep fuel running through it, keep the tractor running good. These old tractors were meant to run every day. So if you've got one like this, I always suggest go out, start it up, drive it down the driveway, drive it back, just to give it a little bit of exercise, you know, once a week or every other day or so if you have time. So what I did with the Motor Medic lead substitute, I made some marks here on the side of it because it says it can treat 20 to 25 gallons. So I took a tape measure, measured the distance, and tried to divide it up into segments for how much I'd need for five gallons. The problem is you can't see through the bottle, so it's gonna be difficult to know. I'm just gonna to have to, you know, kind of play it by ear. But I have five gallons here of totally ethanol-free gasoline. Again, I only run ethanol-free gas in my tractors. Um, and this can, you can see, says tractor E-free. So I know this can is only for in the tractor. So what I'd like to do is get down to this mark, and that'll let me know I've got five gallons of lead substitute treatment added to my ethanol-free gas. And it's going to be really hard to tell because you can't see through the bottle and it really should have some type of a marking system. Now I can see if you're filling up a classic car that's got a 20 or 25 gallon gas tank, sure you just dump this whole bottle in, but for something like a tractor, there's got to be a better way. And this, this mark does help me a little bit. I can kind of see through with the light coming through the inside, so I think we're going to stop there on that. I'm going to put a little bit of stable in with it. Again, I know there's mixed reviews on stable. This is actually the first farm tractor I've ever owned that has a gas gauge on it, so it's pretty fancy. 1957, the Cockshut 540, no gas gauge, the Ford 8 and 2 end no gas gauge, always using a stick or a furrow depth wrench to reach down in and see how much gas is in the tank. So really nice with that gas gauge to know how much is in here. I always like to use a nice big funnel. It makes you lift your gas can a little bit higher, which is kind of a pain because those five gallon gas cans get heavier the older you get. But it does have a nice screen in there too that keeps debris from falling into the tank. And as we know, these pour spouts are the worst. So I like to pour straight through the funnel from the gas can. Trying not to spill on the side of the tractor. So there you go, just a short little video about that lead substitute in your classic tractor or classic car and why I think it's important to add in. It certainly can't hurt. It adds a little bit to the cost of your fuel. I'll put an Amazon affiliate link to that lead substitute, the big funnel, and some other things I use with the Ford tractor. If you enjoy videos like this, give us a thumbs up. Click that subscribe button if you're not already following us. 
and we'll see you again the next time.